what's going on everybody welcome to your 17th php tutorial in which we'll be learning about var dump and printr in php now basically these two functions you can say are pretty useful in debugging of your code so let's say you have an api you have an api from another website which returns you some data in json format but obviously you don't know what key is or what the index is of the information you want from that so what you can do is you can display the whole json at once and then you can see how the data is organized doing that with for loops is buggy and tricky as well so what php does is it provides you with two functions namely var dump and printr which organizes and displays any kind of data you pass in as an argument so this point will become clear in a moment so let's create an array let's say this is an array with five elements and let's say I want to display this on the screen obviously not for the user but for debugging purposes I just want to know what is what is in its array this array contains so let's say I want to see that so I have two options either I can war dump array or I can make use of print r array so these two statements uh, do pretty much the same task but war dump is a bit more informative it would give you a bit more information than printr but printr would organize the data cleanly than var dump so let's make use of var dump first and if in the browser I take a look then you see that here or let's just make view source so here you see that var dump gives us the information that this is an array of five remember that this array is not the name of this variable this is the data type of this container so even if I change it to array 2 this won't change because this is array this this name is not dependent on the name of the variable so this is the name of the data type and it says it contains five elements at the zeroth index this is the integer 1 integer 2 integer 3 integer 4 integer 5 so let's say if I change it to a string then you see that the first one changes to string one and what this one signifies is the length of this string so let's say if I write like this much and if I reload this so you see this changes to nine so this nine signifies that the length of the first element of this array is nine characters similarly rest of the integers are also listed now let's check out what happens with printr now with printr okay now with printr you can see that this is much cleaner than the previous one but this is less informative so you see if I print them sidewise so here if I reload this you can see here whoa okay so you can see here that with war dump we have got a lot of information that about the array its length and every individual element its data type its length and all that stuff but with printr we have not got much of the information but it looks cleaner so it it's up to you that whichever you want to use war dump or printr but in some cases war dump is extremely useful because um, I usually use war dump because it returns it tells me the data type of the <coughs> elements inside the variables so for example this usually happens a lot whenever there's a failed query to any website or any uh, you can say the CURL which we'll be learning soon the CURL is a 
method in PHP to retrieve data from remote websites. So when the C URL fails, then what happens is it returns false. With printr, it would print nothing. So it leaves uh, the developer clueless. But with var dump, it would return either null, a big null would be written here, or false, or whatever is being returned by C URL. So var dump and printr are pretty much handy functions to use. So from now onwards, we can make use of var dump or printr instead of writing big for loops to display data. Obviously, only for this these tutorial purposes, but for in production websites, which you will be doing, we have to make use of the for loops because you cannot customize this as it is. So this is just for debugging purposes so that <coughs> you don't have to spend a lot of time to see what's working and what's not so that's it for this tutorial and I hope you liked it and if you did then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching